What is going on YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to focus on sneakers, budget sneakers, because I'm actually looking for sneakers from the outlet store, the Nike outlet store. Yes, the outlet vlogs are back that I want to give to one of my most loyal employees that I've had for over eight years. I'm talking about my driver, Julius. I want to get him durable shoes, comfortable shoes, shoes with a solid bottom and great traction for driving, as well as water resistant, hopefully sneakers because we're about to enter the rainy season here in the Philippines. And to do that, we went to the Nike outlet in Marikina Riverbanks. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Why? Because we are giving away Apple AirPods 2, courtesy of our partnership with Poundit. So if you guys want to join, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, follow Poundit on Instagram, and then click the link down below so you can be part of the raffle for the Apple AirPods 2. So what we'll do for this vlog is I'll share with you guys some of the sneakers that I saw, and then at the very end, I'll share with you which was the actual sneaker that I ended up buying for Julius. So let's kick things off with fun sneakers. And when it comes to fun basketball sneakers, one of the favorite lines that I have are the LeBron 16s. LeBrons are just super crazy these days when it comes to their colorways, and it's just so fun to wear both as a casual sneaker and a performance basketball shoe. And when it comes to the outlet, there were two colorways of the LeBron 16 that we saw. The first one was the LeBron 16 Fruity Pebbles. The usual SRP is 9,895. It was pushed down to 7,916. There was also a white colorway of the same shoe, same pricing from 9,895 to 7,916. Again, guys, if you are looking for basketball sneakers, one of the absolute best places to go to, outlet stores. Speaking of basketball sneakers, we also saw a bunch, I mean a bunch of the Jordan 33s. I'm not a fan of the Jordan 33s, they're just super uncomfortable. But hey, that's just for me because I have wide feet. Maybe for you guys, it's a better fit. Now for the Jordan 33, there were three major colorways that we saw. There was a white one, there was a black one, and there was an all red one. And in terms of pricing, usually it sells for 9,895, same as the LeBron 16s. And they were brought down to 7,916 pesos. Apart from that, we also saw the Jordan 13 Mellows, one of the most controversial sneakers I think of last year because they pulled it out and they did a recall because the suede along the side would bleed into the shoe. I'm not really super familiar with the controversy behind it. Sneaker Talk was kind enough to fill me in. So this one usually sells for 9,445 pesos. Price went down to just 7,000. 556 pesos. And while we're at Jordans, Jordan 3 is one of my favorite silhouettes when it comes to Jordan sneakers. They had the chlorophyll. I'm not sure if that's the actual color name or the colorway of the shoe, but this one is selling for 9,445. That's the usual price. They brought it down to just 7,556. If you ask me, the price should go down a little more. Hopefully, you get to actually buy that shoe at 50% off because it's not really a great colorway. It's kind of bland and boring if you ask me. Now, those were most of the basket basketball shoes that we saw, but there were a bunch of lifestyle and running sneakers which we will talk about now. When it comes to running sneakers and you're talking about Nike, the Epic React Flyknit is at the pinnacle, one of the best sneakers that you guys can pick up. And they have it at the outlet store in two colorways. The first one is in a vault colorway, a loud green sneaker featuring React technology for the bottom and flying it for the upper. This one usually sells for 7,645 pesos. Guys, this is a great deal because you can actually pick it up for just 5,733 pesos. The Epic React Flying It is one of the best sneakers, period. So if you are looking for an all-around running, well, lifestyle, athleisure, workout sneaker, this might be the one for you. Apart from that, we also saw like a molten red colorway with hints of orange. Reminds me a lot of the House Targaryen Ultra Boost. So same pricing situation, 7645 initially got knocked down to 5733 Now, if you want a more affordable version of the Epic React Flyknit, you can opt to go for the Odyssey React. And they did have like one colorway available, which was in some sort of like military green with a bright yellow swoosh for the accent of the shoe. 
The original price is 6,295 pesos, but it got knocked down to just 4,000. 721 pesos. There was also a lifestyle version, of course, of featuring the React technology. We have the Element React 55 in the blue colorway. This one usually sells for 6,745, got knocked down to 5,085 pesos. Now, this one was kind of a surprise. I found my favorite colorway of the Vapor Max. This is the Vapor Max Flyknit Safari. So you have hints, oh well, of Safari colors. You have the orange, you have the prints. And this one is selling usually for 9,445 got knocked down to 7,083. Now, I was actually going to pull the trigger on this one when I first saw it over at Commonwealth. Good thing I was able to stop myself and I was actually going to buy it already over at the outlet, but I just had to take a pass because admit it, I had to admit it to myself. I have too many shoes already as it is and I can't wear all of them. So I made the resolution to only buy the shoes that I really, 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 really want or shoes that I really, really, really want to review. So I took a pass on that one. We also saw the Nike Air Max Deluxe. Usually sells for 8,995, got knocked down to 6,746. This one had hype for a bit because Sean Waterspoon was spotted wearing it and he posted it over at Instagram. The hype has died since and you can actually find a lot of Air Max Deluxes sitting on outlets. Oh, by the way, speaking of Vapor Maxes, I almost forgot. We saw the latest model of the Vapor Max, the Vapor Max 2019, sitting on the outlet store. So usually the Vapor Max 2019 sells for 9,445 pesos, now going down to just 7,083 pesos. Pesos. This was in the black, gray, and gold colorway. So if you are a fan of Vapor Maxes, now might be the best time to pick one up because of the outlet season. Also have the Nike Hurachi Drift. And this one usually sells for 6,295 down to 7,721. I've always seen Hurachis in outlets, so it's not a surprise to see this shoe sitting on the shelf. When it comes to the Air Force One, I just saw one really loud model that I just had to include in this vlog. And it's a pink patent leather Air Force One which usually sells for 5,295 pesos, but the price got knocked down to 3,971 pesos. I'm not that bold enough to wear that particular colorway of the shoe, but believe me when I say, guys, that I seriously thought about picking that one up just because I'm a huge fan of the Air Force One silhouette. What do you guys think? Do you think I can pull it off? Because if a lot of you say yes, I probably will go back to the outlet just to buy it, just to post it on Instagram and do videos on it. Now, one shoe that almost made it to the sneaker that I would buy Julius was the Nike Cortez Leather in blue. And this one I wanted to get because it fit like the, the criteria that I had set. Number one, it had a sturdy upper made out of leather. Number two, it had a good midsole and outsole which provided excellent traction for driving. It's also pretty stylish because it's an all-around classic timeless sneaker with the Cortez and the colorway blue and white look pretty sick. However, it didn't pass the last criteria which was all about being also water resistant because we are about to enter the rainy season here in the Philippines. In fact, it has already started to rain and people have started to feel the effects. I mean, I was walking down the street earlier along Green Hills where I live and I was wearing a white Ultra Boost. And you guys can guess what happened. Good thing I had Crep Protect on and it was able to survive some of the puddles that I accidentally stepped on. So what shoe did I end up picking for Julius? What sneaker did I end up buying for my loyal eight-year employee? Check this out. So guys, we have the sneaker here that I'm going to give to Julius. It's supposed to be a good shoe that you can use for driving and everyday wear. So I decided to go with the Nike Commuter. So the great thing about this one is that it's water resistant. So it's a type of sneaker that you can beat up, uh, especially now that it's about to hit rainy season here in the Philippines. The bottom part is also pretty good in terms of traction. So it should be able to maintain the grip while you are driving. At least that's what I think in my head. I'm not really sure if that's the case. But yeah, so that's the sneaker that we went with. This is the Nike Commuter, which we were able to get from the Nike outlet over at Riverbank. So we'll give it to him now. Guys, this is Julius. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, it's a little bit. Oh, that's right? Yeah! That's right, guys. Water resistant, so it's not too long. Here, this is how it's going. Water resistant. Oh, it's not too long. Okay. 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 
you know. Maluwag ba? Sakto sir. Sakto lang. Oh, you know. Ganda sir. Oh, di ba? And that's actually it for our vlog for today. And to wrap things up, of course, we have our daily words of wisdom, our power up for the day. Guys, always remember that when it comes to being successful, and please do listen to this, especially all of the kids watching this video. It's not about the title that you have. It's not about the money that you have. It's not about the cred that you have. And so much more. It is not about the shoe, shoes or sneakers that you wear or the hype stuff that you own. At the end of the day, it boils boils down to one thing that determines your success or how people perceive you to be and that is your character and when I say your character that's who you are when no one is looking when no one is looking over your shoulder how do you act how do you talk how do you chat those are the important things that determine if you are successful or not now sometimes you will fail admittedly people you know mess up the great thing about life is that you can always get up. You can always be better. You can always change for the better. You can get wiser. So it's always important to just get on up, learn the lessons, change for the better, and focus on the thing that matters most. Again, it's not about the money. It's not about, you know, what you wear. It's really about character. Be kind. Be generous. Be understanding. Be, you know, be loving to one another. Because at the end of the day, that's actually what people look for in leaders and what people look for in friends. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can be part of our giveaway for the Apple AirPods 2. The link to this giveaway can be found down below. Peace, God bless. What's Oh, wait. Before we end the vlog, I will cut later on at the very end of this vlog, like after the Finn like title card, to a few seconds clip of Dusty, my cat. Because a lot of you keep requesting for more footage of my cat. So enjoy the footage. That said, peace, God bless. What's up? Boom. Dusty. Dusty. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog, Dusty. Like a boss. Yeah.